Hello, I'm Alan Levine. A lot of people in these videos, they're in offices with computers and bookcases next to them. I decided to sit on my porch here in my home in Strawberry, Arizona, and uh, my dog will get in the way of the video. Um, but I want to say right now that this is definitely my favorite t-shirt, and it says a lot about um, how I feel about uh, technology and media, etc. It seems pretty basic. Who wouldn't love to share? So I'm part of the Creative Commons project, uh, and I'm working on a lot of the technical side. And so these videos um, were kind of my idea, and I actually didn't uh, intend uh, to do one. I had in mind to collect other people's inputs. But after seeing uh, Paul Stacy's great video, uh, it seems that to know us better on the team, that we should all present our views of the certification. So uh, hopefully my other team members uh, are working on their videos right now. Um, but uh, I've been involved in educational technology so long now, I probably have to do some math. I'd say uh, 24 years. Um, never was my intent. It's not really my background. I studied geology, but uh, I kind of fell into it and uh, worked for many years at the Maricopa Community Colleges in Phoenix with the New Media Consortium. And the last three years, uh, as an independent uh, web geek consultant, uh, etc. And so when I started my job, I didn't know much about technology. I knew a little bit about computers. I had done some stuff. And so everything I have learned uh, that I've been able to make uh, a living off of and also enjoy has been from the materials, ideas, and things that people have openly shared uh, on the internet. Every day I am looking something up uh, that I need to figure out, whether it's code or how to solve um, a glitch or even things around my house. It's an everyday occurrence. And so um, this idea came to me very early that, wait a minute, I'm learning a lot from other people, from what they're sharing. It just made sense so much from the beginning uh, to pay it back. And... Um, I don't remember exactly when I first heard about Creative Commons. I'm pretty sure it was early. Uh, I could claim it was when it first started. Uh, I know I had, I saw, uh, it was in some presentations I did in 2004. Uh, I was working on, in 2003, sort of an online collection of uh, best teaching practices and strategies and materials at Maricopa. And in early 2003, I was incorporating Creative Commons uh, licenses on all those materials. Uh, my passion and the thing I enjoy most is creating media, especially digital photography. So I have more than 50,000 photos on Flickr now, all licensed uh, CC BY. Um, I don't care if people make money off of my photos. I'm not making money off of my photos. I take pictures because I like taking pictures and sharing them. But things happen when, you know, you say, hey, you can use my photos. It'd be nice if you gave me some attribution. But, you know, they've been used in videos, on book covers, in presentations. Uh, I'd like to think some of them got me invited to go visit and talk to people about sharing. And so um, sharing gives back in an in indirect uh, method. And so in all my work, uh, when I blog, uh, when I create videos, uh, when I'm doing my presentations, I aim first and nearly, I'd say, 99% of my time uh, to find media that's been uh, licensed for reuse. And I'm pretty darn adamant um, about the importance of attribution, um, even when you don't have to, like uh, public domain, you don't have to. Uh, but to me, it's, again, a form of gratitude uh, for the person who sit, who put that work out there. So, in terms of the certification, um, it's, it's been interesting to watch the videos, and I would almost agree with some of these people, like, to me personally, I don't really need it, and I probably wouldn't pursue it myself, but this isn't for me. And so, we're thinking a lot about some people who are working in fields of, of government, library, and education, um, where there is some value in being able to um, demonstrated proficiency in the understanding, application, and use of Creative Commons. I don't think, though, um, that it's really the certification should be the end goal, um, the thing, like a badge, a thing that will assert, that will prove that I know Creative Commons. And I think 
that's probably the expectation that Creative Commons as an organization um, is uh, has our team working on this. That we'll come up with something that we'll be able to say for sure that you um, know everything about Creative Commons because this seal is on it. And yeah, the certification, whatever is distributed as the as the certification, um, will be some indication of that. Uh, but I don't think the proof part is as important as the things that people do um, to sort of demonstrate. So in our thinking about how this will work, uh, we're thinking a lot about um, things that people will do that aren't just road exercises to pass um, some kind of exam, but they'll be real work that are in their fields, that are in their interest. And because it's Creative Commons, it has to be visible in the world. So I think it's more important, um, yeah, you get the certification, but you also uh, build up a body of work that shows um, the application of your knowledge of Creative Commons. You don't need a stamp to prove it. You have an entire legacy, hopefully, of work um, that shows that you regularly um, reuse material, you publish materials on your own, um, you pay attention to um, stuff that you can or can't use, and that you also communicate it outward. So I think that process part and sort of the demonstrable acts um, are going to be more important, hopefully, for people than just the stamp itself. I'm big on this stamp thing. Uh, so, But we don't know yet. We're building this, and that's why we're asking people to do these videos. And in a way, I think it's interesting because uh, for some of them, I have uh, asked people to do them without explaining too much about the project, so I'm not really seeding them with what the certification is. I sort of want to get their reaction, and we are getting that, um, about what it would mean to them in the work they do, um, and what it would look like to uh, get a certification. So the public presence, the body of work is important, and also um, it's not done like some, you know, you know, technical certification where you go in some isolation lab and you punch in a machine. Um, we want this work to happen, uh, you know, in, in a community, in a place where you're working side by side with other people, where you're learning, where you're sharing, um, where you're disagreeing, agreeing with, with other people. And so we sort of see as a nice, hopefully, byproduct of this, um, a richer sort of um, ecosystem of people who are in this process part of um, using and trying to figure out. because. You know, sometimes, you know, some of the stuff is pretty easy. Okay, you come across stuff in Wikipedia, it's got the license on it. It's pretty clear what you can do with it. You read it, it says, okay, non-commercial. Or, you know, the the image that you find on Pixabay, it's CC0. You can remix it, etc. cetera. Um, but there's a whole lot of gray situations. And there aren't really ironclad answers. And so we want sort of a place where people can work uh, and wrestle uh, with these issues. So at this point, I don't know what it's going to look like. Um, that's why I'm asking a lot of people uh, for help. Uh, it makes it somewhat of a challenging uh, process, um, but it also makes it exciting because we're hopefully building something uh, that doesn't exist, and we want to make it something um, that is useful. So that's why a piece of this is um, you know, sharing uh, the work as we go. We don't have... Um, the machine or the mechanism mechanism in mind already on how this is going to work. So uh, I hope you decide maybe to give us some opinion through the video or other uh, means. Uh, if you want to get involved, there's going to be ways you can find uh, on this website to be uh, part of this project. If you don't think it's worthwhile, hey, tell us that too. Uh, tell us why. Uh, you know, we're not just looking for pets on the back. And so uh, basically, we know that you love to share, hopefully doing it with Creative Commons, and um, and can help, you know, make the sharing just more, more of it going on visible in the world, and that cannot help but be a good thing. Thanks for listening.